me alone, Whitney. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Why are you fighting with your si- Where is your sister? She'll catch up. She's in a wheelchair. She has four, she has four wheels so she could drive herself in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to know what's going on. Nothing is going on. I'll be in my room. I have homework. It's Friday. You don't have homework. Mom? Oh. Whitney, what are you and your sister arguing over? Let's just put it this way. I should have accepted your offer about being homeschooled. I'll be in my room. I have homework to catch up to. All right, this looks like a job for super mom. Might as well get started on my homework because I don't have a life anymore. <sighs> Who is it? It's your mother, honey. Can I come in? It's your house. Why do you guys always say that when you're upset and I ask to come in? Well, it is your house. You don't have to ask. I remember that. Now, honey, tell me what's going on. Come on, turn around and tell me what's going on. Asia's mad at me. Well, I could see that when you were coming home. What happened between the two of you? Well, a lot of mine and Asia's friends asked me what happened, and I had to tell them. I mean, it's not like I could jump out of this wheelchair and run and say I was faking it. So he's just mad at you because people are asking you questions? You're the one that should be upset about it. I'm not upset about that as much as I am at the possibility of losing my, a friend, the best friendship I ever had with my sister. She was so, she's been so supportive of me and now all of a sudden there's this big turnaround in less than 24 hours. Honey, it's going to be okay. No, it's not. It's bad enough I lost a friend literally in that car accident. Then I lost the use of my legs. Now I'm, I might lose my relationship with my sister. Everything keeps disappearing. I don't know what to do. Honey, calm down. We're going to fix this, okay? We are going to fix this. I'll talk to Asia and I'll ask her to tell her side of the story. What, you think there's a way that I can be blamed for this? No. But I'm, I'm going to talk to Asia and try to go down to her level. You know how, you know how it works when I talk to Asia. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Listen, it's going to be okay, all right? You've been through a lot, and I know that. And Asia should realize that, too. I thought she did last night when I had my nightmare and everything. Yeah, Asia told me about that. Well, listen, honey, it's going to be okay, all right? I'm going to go and talk to your sister. Right now, why don't you do your homework, and I'll come back in and talk to you after I talk to Asia, okay? Okay. <sighs> Should have been homeschooled. <sighs> Can't even concentrate. I'm so mad. Asia, it's your mother. Can I come in? Whatever. Whitney told me what happened between you two at school today. Tch, figures. She just wants everyone to feel sorry for her. You know that's the last thing she wants. You said so yourself that she was being braver than you would have been in her situation. What set you two off? It's just, all my friends kept crowding around us saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, oh my god, oh my god. What happened? Does it hurt? Yada, yada, yada. So you're upset because it's Whitney's first time in a wheelchair at school, people asking her questions and you're blaming Whitney for that. She shouldn't have gotten in that car with her grown-up friend anyway. Then nothing would have happened. That's not fair. You're practically blaming your sister for this. Well, duh. It is her fault. She gets everything she wants just because she's stupid paraplegic. What did I tell you about using that word? Whatever. I don't even care anymore. 
She's stealing my friends. She is not stealing anything, and you know it. She needs all of us to be supportive with her, around her. And you were doing such a great job yesterday and last night. But today, you're acting like a two-year-old. Oh, I'm a two-year-old? At least I can walk. That's not fair, and that's not funny either. Who said I was joking? I have to push her around in a wheelchair like I push a baby around in a stroll. That is not nice, Asia. I think I know what's going on. Okay, if you're such an expert, what's going on? You watch your mouth, young lady. I don't want to hear your mouth. And what I think is you're jealous. You're jealous of the attention your sister's getting. I'm not jealous. I'm curious. All my friends are interested in her and not in me. You know what, I think you better stay in here and think about what you're saying. When you're ready to apologize to, a, to, to Whitney, then you can come out of your room. I might apologize to Whitney. I'd rather kiss a toilet seat than apologize to her. Or lick the inside of a city bus. Stop it. You know what? I'm very disappointed in you. <clears throat> of course, I'm the one that gets in trouble. <clears throat> I don't know what to do, Mom. Asia has never been so mad at me before, and I can't help that people will ask me questions about everything. I know, honey, but don't worry, I came up with a solution. How? You talked to Asia, and she obviously didn't want to hear a word of it, so what else could you do? You'll see. Ding dong. Come on in. Hi, Josefina. Hi, Kayla. Thank you for coming. Hey, Whitney. Hey. What are you doing here? Aren't you Asia's friend? I came to talk to you and Asia. Mom, what's going on? I thought the three of you should have a meeting together. I don't want to talk to Asia. She hurt my feelings. Then I'll talk to Asia and get her to apologize to you. Does that sound better? Yeah. Because she owes me an apology. I don't owe her anything. All right. I'll talk to Asia for you, okay? Everything's going to be okay. Thanks, Kayla. Do you think this will work? I'm hoping it will. Who is it? It's Kayla. Oh, come in. Hey. What are you doing here? Did you come to see Whitney? Because her bedroom's at the end of the hall. I came to see you. Really? Yes. You seem angry. Sit up. I really need to talk to you. Okay. What is it? You know, first of all, I'm only saying this because I'm your friend. Let me guess, you're going to defend Whitney, aren't you? Actually, I am. You were very unfair to her today. She can't help what happened. Yeah, well, I'm just as mad at you as I am at her. You're supposed to be my best friend, and you kept talking to her and acting like I didn't even exist. I didn't mean to make you feel that way, and I didn't talk to Whitney to hurt you, and you should know that. Whitney's your sister, and something bad had just happened to her, and all you care about is people focusing on you. I comforted her all day yesterday, and it's getting old. How much nicer can I get? You could be a lot. You're not being nice right now. Why should I? She's ruining my life. You think your life is ruined? Look at what Whitney has to go through. She can never walk again, never do the things she used to do, and she lost a friend on top of it. You're being so selfish, Asia. And that's not who I'm friends, that's not the girl that I'm friends with. So what are you saying? You don't want to be friends? I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that I know you, you are better than this. Whitney loves you, and she told me in the kitchen that she's grateful for you to have a sister who's so caring and everything. She said that in the kitchen? Okay, maybe not the kitchen, but at school she said it. 
before you guys had that stupid argument. Whitney really said I was a good sister? She did. She was raving about you. And when you weren't around, and when everyone was crying on her, she said, stop, I don't need all this attention. My sister, all I, have, all I need is my sister to comfort me, and she's been great. Whitney said that? Yes, and if you would just stop being self-centered for two seconds, you would have known that. Wow. I didn't know that. Well, you would have if you paid the, at least one speck of attention. Kayla, I'm sorry, but can you go home? I have a, I have a friendship to mend. Of course. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you tonight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's gonna be okay, Whitney. I hope so. Mom? Hi. Hi. Uh, can I talk to Whitney alone, please? Are you going to be saying nasty things to her? No. Okay. Well, I have to run to the supermarket anyway, so you guys have the house to yourselves for the next hour or so. I'm going to, we're going to order out for dinner, so don't fill up on snacks, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, Whitney. Hi. Can I uh, sit down? I don't care. So what do you want to talk about? I owe you a big apology. Yes, you do. I wasn't trying to steal your friends, Asia. I can't help what happened happened. I know. Kayla talked some, some sense into me and I realized that I've been a real jerk, and I am so sorry. Yeah, you have been a jerk. I thought you were with me, but instead you're away from me. Not anymore. I won't act that way ever again. It isn't your fault that what happened happened, and I shouldn't have said that, and I shouldn't have said you were stealing my friends. Of course people are going to ask questions, people who know you at least, are going to ask questions about what happened, and it only happened like 24 hours ago, and I should have realized that, and I'm sorry, if you just shut up for two seconds, you'll hear me say, I understand. I know it's hard, just as hard for you as it is for me to be in this situation. You do? Of course. I mean, I'd probably feel threatened if you were the one in the wheelchair and my friends were talking to you. I mean, I wouldn't act the way you did, but I can understand that. And I can understand how you feel getting all this attention. You don't like it, do you? No. Yeah, no. Kayla told me what you said. What I said? Yeah, she told me that you said that I was the only support you needed. And that really meant a lot to me. I said that because it's true. You are the only support I need. I don't want us to fight anymore. And I don't want this to come between us. It won't. I'm really sorry, Whitney. I really have been a jerk. That's my sister you're talking about. And she's not a jerk. She's my best friend. You're my best friend, too. Come on. Let's go on Mom's computer and watch YouTube for a while. Sounds like a plan. <laughs>